Let's cross live then to Berlin. We're going to speak to our correspondent, Nick Spicer, who joins us from there. Nick, it is a pretty stark warning, isn't it? And now lots of new measures coming in there that are really going to start affecting the, the lives of Germans once again. They will. They will involve having tests before you go into work, free tests before you didn't have to necessarily have a test, depending on your workplace, depending on what kind of job you had. Generally speaking, uh, the tests had disappeared. Now they're going to come back on Wednesday. You will have to ha be either uh, vaccinated, tested, or have survived coronavirus, survived the infection, to be able to go to a workplace, to take public transport, to go into public places. This is happening nationwide. And the reason why it's taking place on Wednesday uh, is because the next day is when the national state of emergency for the pandemic decided more than a year ago comes to an end. Uh, this is because there's a transition between one government and the next. However, there are lots of calls for more strict measures. Some people saying uh, for, that a na nationwide lockdown is needed. The premier of Bavaria, which has a very high incidence rate of coronavirus, is saying uh, that needs to be done, as well as some members uh, of the Green Party. Uh, so there's a, also a discussion about whether or not there should be a compulsory vaccination, leading politicians, including from Angela Merkel's party and the Social Democratic Party, which will lead the next <clears throat> uh, coalition government, saying that the time is now for that to take place, whatever the concerns about personal freedom. Nick, um, you mentioned that uh, new government coming in. I mean, there's ongoing criticism there as well, isn't it, that the kind of response from the government has been pretty chaotic. It does feel chaotic, and there, you know, there's a constitutional reason for that. In all fairness, we're going from one government to the next. Uh, the Angela Merkel spokesman was asked yesterday, "Well, why don't you go ahead with this national lockdown or having compulsory vaccinations?" And he said, "Well, it's not for this government to do that because there's one that's in the making. There are coalition talks. Hopefully, this week we'll know the exact shape of it. The ministerial portfolios as they're distributed. Uh, and Angela Merkel, in power for 16 years, uh, could leave office next month. New chancellor like." Olaf Scholz, but it's really the worst time for this kind of um, instability or transition to be occurring. Add to that, Germany is a federation with 16 health ministers, so 16 different possible coronavirus responses coming out from the different regions, and some of them are more skeptical, some of them are more uh, reactive, if you will, notably in Bavaria. Uh, so that's part of the reason why the timing is horrible and the structure of the politics here is really not suited to deal with this fourth wave in Germany, which Angela Merkel has warned will be by far the most dangerous for the country. Nick, thanks very much. Nick Spicer, our correspondent, uh, talking to us there from Berlin.